this. So I'm going through my this chard here, trying to get some chard for dinner. And I'm noticing a lot of it has quite a few holes. The whole thing has been eaten. So I spent some time really looking closely at it to see any bugs I find, but evidence of bugs. I'm not really finding much, but partially eaten heads and this kind of almost it's it's almost see-through now. See that? But there's no bugs hanging out. I have an idea of what this could be. Um, but I'm going to do some more checking. So let's go over to the asparagus beds and and go look over there because I have something similar going on. Hi you guys. I'm out here cleaning up my asparagus beds. I'm really cutting back the uh, daffodils that came up. This green stuff. If it's new green stuff you should really, I mean if the bulbs are new, tie this back so the whole top can die off. But um, I'm just trimming them off right now just because I've got so much going on in this bed I don't want to have to try to fight through all this to figure out oh you know there's a spear and there's a spear but what I want to show you is I'm coming across some of these spears that aren't right and I think I know what's going on but I'm going to show you what I'm seeing and we can go through this together so here's an asparagus spear just what it looks like when it comes out of the ground. Top's a little purpley. It's a nice dark green. Sometimes it gets a little purple down there and then under the ground it's going to be a little white. But then I go over to this area, the crown, which is uh, the root system where the asparagus comes out of. You can see a healthy one back here with the purple on top. You can see this little one. It's kind of curling at a uh, curve. That's okay. You know, sometimes things get hit and they curve. Just cut that off or pull that off. But you can see the top. Actually, let me put that here or somewhere where you can really see it. The top isn't all together. It's, it's like little bites have been taken out of it or something has happened to it so it's not quite, it's not normal, right? It's not like that beautiful one. So then I start looking around at other items and I see, you know, I've got these nice stalks. Well, that's been cut. That's got a flat top on it. So probably there was a flower here. I cut it and I took it in half. But then I see this, which is a piece that's been damaged somehow. This long long piece taken out of it and then the top is just died back so something's eating that too so the first thing we start to do right is to look for bugs so I pull out my magnifiers I look around so I know something's eating or biting my greens something's eating and biting my asparagus but leaving some of them alone and it's something that obviously likes being intermixed in between leaves and such. And so now I've got my, my eyes on, right? My bug looking eyes. And I start looking at other things and I'm noticing a lot of that same halfway eaten damage on things. So I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Here's another good piece we can look at. Here you can see part of this is being eaten, 
part of it's not. So like these little stripes that have been eaten off. Ends of the piece have just kind of been nibbled on. And, you know, this is kind of up, so it's something that's traveling up, too. It's not something that can only get to things flat on the ground. It's something that travels. So then I find this asparagus that's hard and woody. Pull that out. Put it on the dirt. That's probably better. The whole top's ruined. The bottom, geez, it's practically carved. A middle it's, something's carving a canoe in there and this is a pretty new it should be a young asparagus but can you hear that that should bend if it's a young asparagus it shouldn't snap like that so this has been slowly killed while it's been in this bed so that tells me I've got something going on here so I need to spend some time looking in here but I think I know what it is and that means we're going to have to do some recon tonight. So let's come back tonight and see what we find in the bed. So stay tuned. Next time you see me, it shall be night. Hi, you guys. So we're out doing our recon. See what I see? Booger. Out for a midnight snack on my plants. And this is unacceptable. So, you know that neem oil I use? I've got a bowl of it here that I have mixed with a little water and since um, I don't want this guy here I'm gonna take him for a little swim and here comes the rain so let's see what else we can find and not get soaking wet So if this isn't your thing, I know that they're nice and they're lovely, but they're eating my food, so gotta go. Quick, painless, I hope. Those suckers feel pain. So actually I thought it was slugs in the uh, stock tanks over here so I'm going to continue to look around and um, we'll come back to you when we find something else hey you guys so we're back look at this there's like three slugs on this going around for some more oh this is just in this area. Another slug. Can you see that? Right there. So gotta get that one. And then there's one right here. And then there's another one. Huh, right there. And another one behind it. Now this is interesting because I've been getting these holes. And this is that plant I sprayed, a big huge hole, for the powdery mildew, and that went away. But now, see, there's another little tiny one. So now what we're finding is, in addition to the powdery mildew, I've got, there's another slug. I've got slugs everywhere. So these little holes that I thought were some other kind of bug came out. Looked them over, couldn't looked at it with a magnifying glass, couldn't find any um, aphids or gnats or squash or anything. So 
Now it turns out it's the frickin' slugs. And you can see they take that nice branch and then they get down and then they just kill that whole leaf. So, anyway, it's a good lesson to learn. Um, there's a bunch more up here. So, how do you get rid of these? You can buy slug bait. There's only a few of them that are organic. Are organic. Um, so I'm going to try just the handheld technique. And, uh, more there. They're everywhere, guys. There. Here, I'll back that off so you can see. Big long one up there. So we're going to few more down there. Go through this bush real quick. Right there. And get rid of these SOBs. And then we'll come out in the next few nights. And the night after that. And the night after that. And see if we've made any kind of a dent. At least these big holes should start disappearing. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of all these slugs and then I'll trim up these holes. Look. Even more down there or trim off these leaves with holes and then we'll just keep an eye and see if they come back. I mean if more holes start appearing, oh my gosh look at over there, then that means we got we got some more slugs. Alright you guys so this is how far away these containers were from each other. It's just right across the, the concrete here so that's what we gotta do. Anyway, it's always good to go out and look at your garden at night. You never know what you're going to find. Maybe a wild dog. Rawr, 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 rawr. Rawr, rawr. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. You going to help me get some slugs? No? Okay, he can go back to bed. See you guys later. Alright, so why don't we just want to come in and kill everything? Because sometimes we have a friend in there. Frog, slug, beautiful frog, yucky slug. So that's why we garden organically, because we got our friends in there. Now, do frogs eat slugs? I do not know the answer to that. So I'm going to leave the little slugs over here and continue cleaning the slugs off this side, but it looks like I might get rained out. Alright, anyway, so that's why I don't come in with a big sprayer and just spray the hell out of everything. Because even though there's some bad stuff, there's a lot of good stuff too.